Hey guys, welcome back to A Little Light. I'm Samantha. So today I'm going to take you into the rabbit barn so I can update you on the baby rabbits. But first we're going to go feed everybody. So come on. parent um we attempted to castrate wilson and it halfway worked <laughs> i've done it uh several times before i used to have a show pig farm when i was in high school and he's just a lot larger than what i'm used to having to operate on uh so when the time came i had a really hard time finding the second testicle and now it's promptly sitting out there, taunting me. So, very soon, my husband and I are gonna come back and attempt to get that second one. We'll see. All right, pigs are fed, on to the chickens. Ladies, gentlemen. Oh. Well, they knocked down. Oh, hey, we got blue eggs again. We haven't had any eggs the past week or so. Uh, I think the weather really got to them. And we haven't had blue eggs in several weeks. So this is exciting. Okay, so two of the meat and potatoes of today's video. We've had some problems with breeding our rabbits first. Uh, and then we finally got them bred. We had two litters. We were expecting two more, but that didn't end up happening. <laughs> and then we started having some issues with one of the litters. So let me show you what our solution has been so far. This is Josie behind me. If you didn't see, in the last video, I talked about how she had a kit that wasn't doing so well. It was very thin. Uh, it was a lot smaller than the rest of them. Well, the next day that kit did pass away. Um, it's just a failure to thrive. It happens all the time, especially with rabbits. Um, anyways, it was unfortunate. But the next day I came back and there was another one missing. Um, I did eventually find the body. It was in the nest, but that one had seemed perfectly healthy the day previous, and that made me a little concerned. I checked over the remaining kits. One seemed to be doing well, two of them were not so hot. So I took them away from Josie and put them in Allie's nesting box. So Allie now has eight kits, or she did last night. I'm about to check again. The two that weren't doing well, it wouldn't surprise me if they pass. Um, it's really unfortunate, but it's part of homesteading. Things don't always go well. Now Josie, we have already rebred her. We took her nesting box, we took the babies, and immediately rebred her. I wanted to give her another chance. Uh, she did do a really good job. She had babies, she made a good nest. 
Sometimes it's just the litter that's not viable, so it's not necessarily her fault. Uh, so we're gonna try again. Here is one of the babies from Josie's litter that wasn't doing very well. As you can see, it is very trim still. Uh, it seems plenty active, so, you know, maybe there's a chance, but let me show you a healthy kit to compare to. This is one of Allie's kits. It's very full. It's smooth, its belly is very round, it is a little dirty, I need to go ahead and change out their nesting materials. Um, but this is what we should be looking at, and it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and count these, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Alright, well all eight are still alive, so I'm, I'm going to hold out hope. As young as they are, fostering baby rabbits over uh, was pretty easy. All I did was take the ones from Josie and I rubbed them all over Allie so that they smelled like her and then they just dropped them in her nest. To be honest, uh, before Allie had her litter, I really was contemplating just putting her in the freezer because she's kind of small and she had never had a litter before and she was already over a year old and that's not really typical for rabbits. Um, and so I was like, oh, well, she's small. I have all these big rabbits. I would much rather do that. But if she's a good mom, maybe I should breed her one time. And I'm really, really glad that I held out for her because so far she's the only one to give us babies successfully and keep them. Speaking of babies, we are about three weeks away from our goat's first possible due date, and I am so excited. Sayla here has been keeping me company while I shoot video. She's eating uh, any of the dropped feed from the rabbits. But look at that belly, and she's starting to get an udder already. You can't really see, but I'm so excited for babies. To keep up with the transparency, I am a little disappointed in how the rabbits are turning out for us so far. Um, I'm not to the point where I want to give up or anything because it's still early. We've only had them for about four months now, but I would like to add that it is perfectly okay to give up on something. You're not a failure. You just learned that that's not going to work for you and you moved on. Like I said, we are not to the point of wanting to give up on the rabbits altogether. I just wanted to mention that it is okay. So if you want more regular updates on these rabbits, I actually post on Instagram a lot more. It's a better way to keep up with us on day-to-day -day life. So if you want to check that out, it's at of little and light. All one word. I'll link it in the description below. If you enjoyed hanging out with me today, please consider liking or sharing uh, or just leaving a comment below. Interacting with the videos like that tells the YouTube algorithm that you liked what you saw and that it should show this video to more people. So that's a great way to support us if you feel so moved to do so. So that's gonna be it for today. Just a short and sweet update on the rabbits. Uh, things aren't turning out quite how I wanted them to, but that's just life, right? Anyways, until we meet again, bye y'all.